Hey folks, how are you? I wanted to shoot this quick video for you um, and Facebook Lives are a great way of getting the message out there. So I hope you're having a really, really awesome day so far. Um, but I've just been around a 90 day sprint session with my Momentum Circle this week. And one of the things that we talked about in the sprint session was how we have that 12 month vision, but then we break it down into 90 day sprints. And you see a lot of um, entrepreneurs talking about the 90 day uh, method of, um, you know, kind of planning your year out. And I find it really works well because it gets you very kind of clear and focused in your mind and you're not thinking, oh, it's OK, you know, I'll do that later this year. It gets you very clear on what you're focusing on for the next 90 days. So I run the 90 day sprint session with my Momentum Circle. Um, it was a really, really great interactive engaged session where it's interesting because some of the things that were kind of really um, building resistance for people was around um, having um, and actually setting goals and actually knowing what steps to take. I think that's the problem sometimes is that we have this big goal in our head and then it comes to actually, so what do I do? And you just go, Bleh. <laughs> you just don't know where to start. And that's why this planning process can work really, really well. And so this quick video is actually just wanted to share something that has been really powerful for me. Um, um, and it's a kind of realization and you think, OK, this is what you really want to make sure that you do, because even though I market consistently, um, you know, I'm always thinking, how can I be more deliberate? How can I be more strategic? And so what I did was I planned out my year in terms of thinking about what I wanted to achieve. This was quite interesting last year because obviously I was pregnant and I was having a baby. And so kind of things went up a little bit crazy, obviously, as a new life does. But this year, um, my baby is born. Um, no babies this year, <laughs> touch wood. And so I was thinking about, well, what do I want this year to look like? So I kind of created the plan of what the 12 months looks like at, at a glance. And then my big thing with uh, kind of, I suppose, my consistent content is through my uh, my podcast. So I've got big plans for my podcast. Um, and then I was sitting there thinking, you know, I was looking back at one of my other Facebook lives that I'd done about making sure that your content has a purpose. And so this is what you need to do is when you're creating your plan for the year, when you're creating your content plan, make sure they marry up. And what I mean by that is that if you're going to do a launch of some sort, say maybe in March, make sure that your content is aligned to that launch. If you're running a program all the time, if it's an evergreen program, make sure that your content is aligned to that so that you are sending people, you're giving them that next uh, action to take rather than just randomly throwing stuff out there. And, you know, I'll be guilty. I've done that before, too. But this is where, you know, you kind of step up. Um, you kind of really step into the leadership position that you're here for um, and you show people, actually, this is what you need to do. You know, this is your next step. This is your next action. What's your call to action? If you've got your copy of my uh, Love to Leverage guide, which is 50 ways to uh, leverage your time and grow your business working 20 hours a week or less, then you'll see this is something that I do talk about is make sure that you're always giving calls to action so that people know what the next step is. So make sure that when you are planning your year out and when you're planning your content, make sure that they are marrying up and that they are aligned. That will make your marketing so much more easier to do. And then if you are planning a launch of some sort, then, you know, you know that you have got content created, um, you know, that you are in the right place. You don't want to be sitting there thinking, oh, no, I'm planning a launch this month and I've done no content for it or I haven't primed my audience for it. And that's what you need to be thinking about. You always be thinking, you know, like three steps ahead. You know, it's always a goal when you're, you know, from a revenue perspective, you want to be thinking, OK, so plan out three months, three months. You know, think about that. Uh, think about your content in the same way um, and your results will be a lot more fruitful. And that is a brilliant way to leverage your time, which is obviously what I talk about a lot here in the tiny time, big results world. All right, my lovely. So that's it for today's quick video. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if this helps. Let me know if this suddenly just changes how you plan your content and your year for your programs, your services. I'd love to hear if this is going to help. 
um, and you know just share your thoughts uh, down in the comments box below um, and what I'll do is I'll post the link for the love to leverage guide um, as well if you haven't got a copy of that uh, 50 really simple ways that you can grow your business and leverage your time so be sure to grab your copy of that and be sure to share it if you think there'll be other people who will benefit so that's it from me. I hope you have enjoyed this um, video and I hope that's useful. Take care.